Hello, we will talk about arterial tunicate in this section. So, I will talk about what is the systemic effect of uh, applying a tunicate in a patient, uh, in when what happens during inflation of the tunicate, what happens after deflation of the tunicate, everything I will discuss. And apart from that, I will enumerate in the end the all points about tunicate deflation syndrome. That is what happens after deflation of tunicate, the systemic changes which happen is called results in tunicate defla deflation syndrome. So, I will talk about tunicate deflation syndrome as well. So, what is arterial tunicate? Arterial tunicate is a pneumatic device which is attached with a compressed gas source. So, it is a it is pneumatic device, pneumatic device consisting of consisting of an inflatable cuff attached to compressed gas supply of inflatable cuff connected to a compressed gas supply compressed gas supply. Now, who was the person who gave the concept of tunicate? It was given in 1718 by a French Jean Louis Petit. Tunicate means turn. So, it is an inflatable curve which is turned around a limb to produce a, uh, produce a compression. So, it was given by Jean Louis pet it. Right? The term was coined. It means the tunicate means turn. Tunicate means to turn. And he used it for lower limb surgery. Now, what is the use of tunicate? Where we use it? Well, we use it for the limb surgery, for upper or lower limb surgery. We use it for intravenous regional anesthesia. We use it in management of complex regional pain syndromes. And we also use it in management in let's say management of localized malignancy for isolated limb perfusion. Okay. So we use it for extremity surgery, extremity surgery. We use it in intravenous regional anesthesia or buyer's block for intravenous regional anesthesia or Buyer's block, it is called buyer's block. We use it for management of complex regional pain syndrome. So, we use it for management of complex regional pain syndrome, and we use it for management of localized malignancy for isolated limb perfusion, right. So, management of localized malignancy for isolated limb perfusion, isolated limb perfusion, right? Okay. Now, use of tunicate has several advantages and disadvantages which we will discuss. Now, definitely when we are using a tunicate or getting a surgery done under tunicate for the limb surgery, the blood loss decreases. But we need to practice certain caution and take a proper tunicate care for the best outcome in these patients. Well, let us first discuss the systemic effect of the tunicate inflation and deflation. So, since tunicate, use of tunicate has multiple uh, demerits which we need to consider, it has systemic and localized effect. So, systemic effect we will discuss. It has systemic effect and it has local effects as well. Local effects of the tunicate is mostly because of the ischemia and the mechanical compression caused by the tunicate and the systemic effect is because of the inflation and deflation of tunicate. So, what I am trying to tell you that use of tunicate can have several side effects which could be systemic side effects and which could be local side effects. The local side effects are mostly due to ischemia or it is due to mechanical compression, mechanical compression, right? And the systemic side effect is mostly due to inflation and 
due to deflation of the tourniquet. So when inflation happen, certain systemic changes happen. When deflation happen, certain systemic changes happen and they produce the systemic effect on cardiovascular, respiratory and other system. And because of the local effect due to compression which leads to ischemia and the mechanical effect produces some local complications which we will discuss. So first let us discuss the systemic effect and let us start discussing it with the effect on cardiovascular system. So what happens on cardiovascular system in tunicate inflation? So when the tunicate is inflated, the blood gets goes into the central compartment more blood goes into the central compartment right when the tunicate is inflated so central compartment blood volume increases and this will increase the systemic vascular resistance of the patient so shift of shift of blood volume blood volume into the systemic circulation or central circulation central circulation so more blood returns to the heart and this increases systemic and it also increases systemic vascular resistance the inflation okay so there is a possibility the blood pressure could increase what happens during tunicate deflation the redistribution of the blood would definitely happen and because of the release of inflammatory mediator due to ischemia caused due to inflation this inflammatory mediator decreases systemic vascular resistance because of the vasodilatory effect and it would decrease the blood pressure of the patient so redistribution redistribution of circulatory volume circulatory volume back into limb then release of metabolite in the systemic circulation release of metabolites in systemic circulation all this will cause decrease in blood pressure right so blood pressure of the patient may fall during deflation and it may increase during inflation okay what is the effect on your respiratory system respiratory system now one important thing i want to tell you that this cardiovascular effect on of the tunicate deflation this can be minimized by using propofol propofol because of its anti-inflammatory property it inhibits superoxide dismutase which is one of the metabolite which decreases the blood pressure after the deflation of the tunicate it could it inhibits that metabolite so use of propofol in intra-op period can decrease this systemic response on tunicate deflation so i'm just trying to tell you a one note i'm giving that propofol the use of propofol decreases reperfusion injury reperfusion injury why because propofol decreases superoxide superoxide dismutase dismutase one of the inflammatory mediators after tunicate deflation so use of propofol based anesthesia would be helpful in minimizing the decrease in blood pressure after tunicate deflation now effect on respiratory system what happens during tunicate inflation tunicate inflation has no effect on respiratory system so no effect what about tunicate deflation now tunicate deflation because of the release of uh, carbon dioxide from the uh, from the uh, limb uh, which was uh, which was not getting the adequate blood uh, adequate ex blood supply for the exchange to happen increases the pseo2 level of the blood and increases the etco2 level so increased in the end tidal carbon dioxide happens right so tunicate deflation causes increase in etco2 at 1 minute and it becomes normal by 10 minutes right 10 minutes so this is because of increased carbon dioxide from the venous blood venous blood of isolated limb isolated limb now this hypercapnia which results it results in hyperventilation in a spontaneously breathing person under tunicate 
and when I am given, I have given GA, 